Hello, Argina here from ArginaOlivers.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to create a clickable table of contents in Microsoft Word. I have the 2013 version and let's get started. So basically, you just need your book, of course, open Microsoft Word. And then what you need to do is, let's go over to home here. What you need to do is um, make all your chapter headings a hitting one which is up here in this area so we want to anything that we want in our table of contents we need to make a hitting one if you don't want the introduction in there do not make this a hitting one because it will not because it will show up in there if you make it a hitting one so just keep going through all your chapter hittings of course they will be labeled by what your chapter is called but for example shake I'm just doing this so hitting one Okay, hitting one, and you pretty much get the, the gist of it. And you can also make your conclusion um, in your table of contents. You can put an opt-in offer in there that says, depending on what the title is, it will say free book or whatever you're giving away um, to collect addresses and stuff like that. So whatever you want in your um, TOC, make sure to make a hitting one and you will be good to go after a few other little things we have to do. So I am going to include this conclusion in here just for example's sake. So make that a hitting one. All right, so the next step is to find a place where you want to put your table of contents. I usually put it right after the title page, I believe. No, first I put my opt-in offer, then it is the table of contents. So um, let's enter a page break to this page, um, the table of contents, and then you just need to go over to references at the top and then there's a drop down right here that says table contents. You want to go to custom table of contents and then um, make sure it doesn't say show page numbers because you know this is for Kindle but unless you're doing something different take that off and also yours might say three but I've changed mine um, to level one. Um, if you do level three, basically it's like you have your one chapter title and if you have sub chapters, it will show in the, um, in the table of contents and it could look a little junky to have all those, uh, chapter hittings and sub chapters and all that. That's too much unless you're doing a scientific book or something. So make sure it says level one. So change this to one and then press okay. And you're good to go, basically. So in order to test this, what you want to do is go and click control on your keypad and then click the chapter that you want to go to. For example, I guess I'll go to chapter four and it should take me right to chapter four. So in order to see if your links are actually working, what you need to do is go over to KDP and actually upload the file just to test it out and make sure your stuff is clickable. So choose the file, choose your book. And I wait for this to get done. It shouldn't take long being that it's only like, there's really no words in it. All right. All right, so once you upload the file, just to, um, to see, go to preview your book and make sure that that table of contents is actually clickable. So let's test this out. All right, so let's do chapter five, for example, and it should jump right over to chapter five. All right. So it looks like it's a success. So that's ba the basics. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you have the headings right and go to references, custom table of contents, and you are good to go. Thank you for watching. Make sure to pick up my Create Space course if you haven't yet. There's a lot of value in it. And also, I will see you uh, on Mondays. I'm doing videos every Monday now. So if you want to come back and make sure to subscribe, that will be amazing. So I'll see you in the next video and enjoy your week. Have a great week.